Here's a list of the top 10 fastest women in the world for 2021. Up top we have the two Jamaican legends, Elaine Thompson Hera and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. A few places down we have Sharika Jackson and Marie Jose Talou. And placed right between these incredible sprinters, currently ranked as the third fastest female athlete in the world this season, is none other than Shakari Richardson from the United States. Now, you probably know at least a little bit about Richardson from her exploits both on and off the track this year. Earlier in her season, she was running some of the fastest times in the world, including a new personal best of 10.72 seconds. And then at this year's United States Olympic Trials, she placed first, winning with a time of 10.86 seconds. At just 21 years of age, Richardson was the new international sprinting sensation, achieving historic marks and also managing to run top-end speeds, competitive with many of the greatest female sprinters in history. However, after months and months of incredible running, it happened. After a glorious showing at the US trials, Richardson tested positive for marijuana use earlier in the year. And despite your varying opinions on marijuana use in sports, she was officially banned from the Tokyo Olympics very soon after, and she was now set to serve a 28-day ban from athletics. This really could not have come at a worse time for Richardson. Since 2019, she had been steadily rising and winning many top-tier events, but despite her World Junior records, her NCAA championships, and her outstanding 2021 season, her ban from the Oval Office ended her Olympic dreams, and it also opened many people's eyes to the track and field world. When the Tokyo Games finally did arrive, the historic clash of 100-meter speed was set without Shakari Richardson, and ultimately, Elaine Thompson Hera from Jamaica came out victorious, winning with a new Olympic record time of 10.61 seconds, finally breaking Florence Griffith Joyner's incomparable Olympic record that had previously stood since 1988. This race was amazing, and it just might be the single greatest track and field moment of these Tokyo Olympics. However, it still felt like something was missing, as the incredibly popular and rapidly rising Shakari Richardson was not able to compete in this 100-meter dash. During the Tokyo Olympics, despite her absence from track and field, her profile shot through the roof, garnering millions and millions of followers across various social media platforms. And finally, after serving her 28-day ban from athletics, she was at long last set to race against the Jamaican champions at this year's Prefontaine Classic. This race was a very unique moment in athletics. In addition to Shakari Richardson's long-awaited return, we had all three returning Olympic medalists from the 100-meter dash in the Tokyo Games. And even though this single 100-meter race was supposed to be extremely competitive, Shakari Richardson came in last place, only hitting a time of 11.14 seconds, her slowest time of the entire season. In stark contrast to Richardson, Winning this race in dominant fashion was none other than Elaine Thompson Hera, who hit a legendary mark of 10.54 seconds, shattering the Jamaican national record once again, and now falling only 5 one hundredths of a second away from Florence Griffith Joyner's world record. Honestly, this was a pretty difficult race to watch, as viewers around the world had become accustomed to seeing Richardson close extremely quickly over the closing stages. However, in this particular performance, her top-end speed simply was not there. Following this race two weeks later in Brussels, Belgium, Richardson was set to race in the 200 meters, and again, she was set to clash against a very strong field. However, unfortunately, she was once again not able to meet the expectations from earlier in the season, as she placed fourth in this race, running a time of 22.45 seconds. Now, it is important to mention that these times are still very fast. However, based on her times from earlier in the year, these results were certainly below her expectations. This brings us to Richardson's most recent race on September 5th in Italy. In a much smaller and low-profile 100-meter dash without any Olympic medalists this time, Richardson still wasn't quite able to approach her previous form, as she achieved a time of 11.19 seconds, placing second in this race. After this year's Olympic trials, Richardson looked as though she could challenge almost any athlete from around the world, 
and perhaps in this year's Olympics, if she could maintain her highly competitive form, she could potentially have found her way into the top three, earning an Olympic medal against a historically talented field. But after her month-long absence, her speed simply was not there. So what exactly happened to Shakari Richardson in 2021? According to multiple sources, her 28-day racing ban still included many great training sessions, but when she finally did return, her abilities on the track had unquestionably fallen. This brings us to the notion of competitive momentum. For many athletes, races are intentionally scheduled to help an athlete follow their training and build slowly and steadily towards a performance peak at some point in the season. For Richardson, her plan was obviously to run very fast in the trials, and following these races, she would continue racing and look to peak once again in the Tokyo Olympics. To see almost an entire month of racing gone for any athlete is extremely difficult, and for Richardson, her racing sharpness was unquestionably affected from this racing ban. The reality of Richardson's 2021 season is that she was building into very solid form heading into Tokyo, but then, in an extremely abrupt and volatile fashion, almost all of her momentum was shot dead in its tracks, making her return to form extremely challenging. Despite her times not being what they used to be this year, her performances after her return to the track were still pretty solid. However, come 2022, I fully expect Shakari Richardson to return to her previous fitness, and when she does, keep your eyes on this one athlete as the 2022 World Championships approach. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.